Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shuffle Podcast. This is episode 193. We the Cook Shuffle guys. I'm Joe. I'm Dave. Hey, what the fuck is up, dude? Repping Holly Davidson. Oh, I was like, what, Nashville? You're repping Nashville? Yeah. yeah. Nashville. Uh I think on the back it says honky tonk. Uh honky what's it say? tonk. Honky tonk. It says honky tonk, right? Yeah. Why don't you just else. turn around and I'll read it? <laughs> honky tonk, Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, I don't know if it says something else, but yeah, honky tonk, Carly Davidson. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah. So I just told Joe that I got a free chicken sandwich. Yeah, tell me about um, the chicken from where? Wendy's. Um, spicy, spicy chicken. Nice. Yeah. Um, I anything everything's better when it's free for sure. I got a text from uh, uh, Wendy hit you up, yeah, yeah. She was Wendy, like, You, she was like, you want, she was you like, want Yo, some, want some of my breasts? He, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> said, hey, meet me out in your driveway. I got, yeah, she was like, Slide through. Um, but yeah, I got a text uh, from the guy I help, guy across the street. Oh, okay. I'm helping move whatever. He was like, hey, come on to the driveway. I got a gift for you. I walk out there and he's not there. Oh. And I'm like, what is this? Is this some <laughs> sort of prank? Um, and then I see him pull in and he was like, hey, you eat yet? And I was like, yeah, I just had two peanut butter sandwiches, or two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And uh, he was like, well, you have to buckle up. I got to have it. It was buy one, get one free at Wendy's. So there you go. Hey. And I was like, I'll. I won't eat it right now, but I'll probably eat it like after this, honestly. So you didn't eat it? No, it's uh, it's there it is. But it's um, it's like a, the the deluxe, I think, because when I saw it, he was eating it when he pulled yeah. in, and it had the lettuce, tomato, obviously the breast, um, uh, probably chicken onion, titties. but I think, but like a regular spicy chicken sandwich, I think it just comes with like. It just comes like lettuce. I don't. I I don't order chicken sandwiches from anywhere besides uh, Chick Fil A. So I don't know. Yeah, have you ever had their their uh, spicy? No, spicy with the bacon. Ugh. I just get their plain chicken sandwich. No, no picks. Why? I don't like pickles on my chicken sandwich. No, no, not the pickles. <laughs> the plain part. There's you can add bacon. You can get it spicy. I I don't know. I like it. Their regular chicken sandwich. Do you do Chick Fil A sauce? Of course. Waffle fries. Naturally. Yeah. I never I had. I just said it like that. Naturally. <laughs> I saw somebody make. Took. They bought a cup of their mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. They bought um their chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Um, the biggest uh, like the fry. They had the waffle fries, and they put it all on, like a a you know tray. And then drizzled, you know, with some type of sauce on it. I think it was, I don't know what type they had, but, um, and they ate that. And I was like, dude, that looks so good. Damn. I wouldn't eat it, you know, because it's mac and cheese. But, <laughs> but sometimes, dude, people just put this shit together and I'm like, I want it. Yeah. I want it bad. Um, I just really quickly, uh, want to touch on last week's episode, which is, uh, like one of our best videos best episodes by far uh, according to youtube um very quickly it got a lot of views um and by a lot i mean a lot for us we're at like 21 views on that video where we mostly get like 8 to 12 so this one skyrocketed because people like aliens and they want them to exist but then what i what i noticed was some some little fucking maybe he's trying to be nice but it it comes across as condescending this fucking douchebag commented on our video and his name is that boy flashy looks like looks like a douche and he goes keep in the good work get real cameras get an intro and pick up the energy (laughs) how about you lick my literal asshole dude uh wait wrong what is it again (laughs) it said keep in the good work which just makes no sense Get real cameras, get an intro, and pick up the energy. And it was like all like excited. He was like a um 
like three there were like three exclamation points afterwards mm-hmm. and so like he was like get real cameras get intro and pick up the energy yeah but it's like it's it comes across so condescending oh, he's just giving us tips no nah, it's condescending and also get real this is a fucking real camera you can see me can't you and also if this motherfucker had any idea how expensive it is to actually record a podcast with a legitimate like dslr camera that he's talking about like i have one you don't and so like and but i can't even use mine because i need to i need to fucking it's i'm not going to get all in all the technology of it but you need special tech to be able to plug that camera you can't just fucking usb into your computer and hunky dory you're good to go yeah you need a specific piece of equipment and that specific piece of equipment can I, I can buy on Amazon, but it's a little on the pricey side. So I'm like, I got a webcam. It's working just fine, except for the times that it doesn't work just fine. Yeah, and you say you need another one, but you never get another one. Well, that's because I don't have money. Dude, mine costs this 30 podcast bucks. is not making us any money. 30 bucks. 30, 30 bucks for camera, what? That's what my camera costs at well, Best Buy. Yeah, but look at yours. It's blurry every other every other episode. Yeah, because it goes out of focus. Yeah, see, mine always in focus. Okay, but mine doesn't have a rainbow every other two seconds. What rainbow? When yours glitches out. Oh, that. Yeah, it's not a rainbow. It's just... I see rain. I see the colors of the rainbow. Okay, good for you. Happy so Pride. I don't, know what, I don't know what you see, <laughs> but that's what I see. Yeah, 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 whatever. Anyways, so my the thing that I want to talk about that happened to me yesterday, um, I, was, I went to go see The Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Good movie um whatever it it was fun yeah anyways have you seen it no okay then don't fucking say anything anyways i had to go see the haunted mansion but before the movie starts so it's like me and a few friends before the movie starts the previews are about to start you know as movies go and just as the lights are dimming for the previews this guy in front of us who's by himself definitely had some stuff if you know what i'm saying and he stands up he turns around he goes Hey, excuse me. Uh, the movie hey, hasn't you? started yet. To, to all all three of us. And he goes, excuse me. The movie hasn't started yet. So I'm just going to ask you a, qu- a quick question. And I was like. <laughs> and he goes, do you guys know how he turns his phone to us? That's a record show. Just Joe just mouthed. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> the listeners out there. <laughs> he turns the phone to us and he goes, he's got like Facebook Messenger or some sort of messaging app up. And he goes do you know how to turn off autocorrect on my phone? And I just go, no. And I go back to my eating my popcorn and just completely, and he keeps talking. I don't know what the fuck it's about. The other people I'm with were like, no, we like, because it wasn't an iPhone. And even if it was an iPhone, I don't know how the fuck to do that. And why would you want to autocorrect is kind of something you, most people appreciate. Um, Not all the time. Not when you're trying to say fuck. That's true. And it says duck. Yeah. <laughs> um, But he was just like, he like, just like the way he went about it was super fucking weird and the second he turned back around i lean over and i go i'm talking about this on the podcast tomorrow (laughs) it was it was just creepy because he was like i'm gonna take my headphones out so i can do this right so he's sitting like this and he just goes (laughs) excuse me the movie hasn't started yet so it's it's okay if i ask you a question do you know how to turn off autocorrect on my phone and we're all just like what and again i went back to my popcorn i have no idea what he was saying after that because i blatantly ignored him um but it was just super weird and he talked like with like a you know he had some he had some stuff you're just rude (laughs) (laughs) he talked like a speech he had like a speech thing okay like a little bit of a lisp he's like you guys know how to turn off all correct on my phone Oh, he's like, like he's the cotton swabs. Cotton swabs. And I was like, dude, literally get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I like didn't know what he was. Was he alone? Doing. Yeah. And he was like an older, an older dude. Like, like probably 50s. Yeah, so he doesn't know technology. Yeah, well. You don't Don't fucking turn around it. and ask a couple of 20-year-olds. You guys are gonna know. No, we don't. <laughs> well, yeah, then you just say, no. Sorry. And we did. But then he kept talking. And that's the part <laughs> that bothered me. When somebody, first of all, you don't just have well, an Did you like ask that your friends what he was saying? No. Because I'm sure if I did, they wouldn't even remember at this point. 
because we were all just like so weirded out by the fact that this you don't do interactions like that right like you that's you how interactions never, happen no 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 you will never in your life in a movie theater right before the movie's about to start and they go hey silence your cell phones which is where most people just make sure their phone's not on volume yeah. not volume up not make um, sure that the autocorrect is off so it yeah. doesn't make any noise <laughs> Like you don't turn around to people that you don't know and so go, excuse off. me, guys. The lights were in the pro like the second he turned around, the lights started to go and I was like, What does he want? It was it was just a little weird. And again, you don't interact with people like that in public. Some people do. Yeah, and those some people are fucking weirdos. I'm sorry, but they're fucking don't. Don't like I, I my fight or flight kicks in and I want to either beat the shit out of you or run away. I know that's exactly what fight or flight means, but like, <laughs> this guy I wanted to beat the shit out of. <laughs> it's just like don't fucking don't do that. What are you doing with your headphones? <laughs> <laughs> I need to put it somewhere because I hate having it fucking dangle down here because I feel like it's tugging on the other one. And I don't want it in my ear because it's completely out now. I can't hear anything. So it just feels weird. But like, so I, I just, I was just like, I was like, is he itching something? <laughs> <laughs> I just put it up or in my scratching hat. something? No, I just, just put it up there. So it looks kind of natural. Yeah. <laughs> right. There we go. Um, yeah, see, but, I got to, um, I've got to go, I've got to go out more. You do. You gotta, you gotta have. You got, you got to have like more interactions with strangers. So like but tonight, that is, right? That is the main reason I don't want to go out. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing is, but we have a podcast, Dave, and I need you to have those interactions. So we have something more than your hikes to talk about every single week. <laughs> hey, listen, I enjoy nature, not people. Yeah. You're a big nature boy now. Yeah. Have been. Always will be. Yeah. Um, I said something yesterday. We were talking about balls. And I said, hey, I'm a big ball boy. BBB. Triple B is what they call me. Big ball boy. Yeah. I don't remember. We were at work, too. And I go, why am I saying this at work right now? I have these words <laughs> coming out of my mouth. Yeah. Dude, I you fucking... thought I ordered the balls in my mouth. <laughs> have you ever, like... You know how it rains? Sometimes? From the sky? Yeah. 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 So... <laughs> have well, you ever, well, like... Well. You've, like, just avoided the rain. And you're like, hell yeah, I'm dry. I'm good to go. And then... Like and like in a car, like when you're driving or just walking or anywhere, anytime. Hey, when you're when you're walking, you're like shit. You're like that shit. You're like you like just got inside, right? Like let's say you're walking from your car into work, and it, as soon as you step inside, it starts pouring. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're like, let's go. I'm not wet because being wet, by the way, it's just the worst thing in the world. Now, okay. in that case. Well, once you go on with, uh, I mean, it depends. If if I'm soaked, if I'm swimming, then I'm happy. And, and I don't any other time, be, I'm not happy. Like, do you mean do you mean wet as in like soaked? I mean wet. I don't mean. What do you mean? What other wet is there? <laughs> um, you can be wet and not soaked. Sure. Then I guess I mean wet as in soaked. Because if it just rains and I'm just like, ah, you know, whatever. Like it was raining the other day. It was, it was, you know, it wasn't downpouring, but okay. it was coming. It was, let know, me just paint the picture, right? I, I don't know why I bother asking you fucking questions. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tell the story. <laughs> yeah. So Thanks. yesterday it was pouring at work. I was up on one of the docks and uh, I was completely dry. Uh, the other person I was with was completely soaked because they were doing, I don't want to say they were doing more work, but they were, they were working in the wet spot. I was lucky enough to be working in the dry spot. So I stayed completely dry. Rain stopped. I was like, let's go. I'm not going to get wet because I have plans after work. Go to Yonder Mansion. I'm not trying to get fucking soaked. So just as we get bumped out of our positions to go clock out, the rain starts up again. I'm like, bitch. Luckily, I have an umbrella. So I pull out my umbrella, start walking back to the area where I clock out. And I, I'm still dry. I go inside. I let the rain try and let up a little bit. So I wait the five minutes for, before I can clock out. Rain doesn't let up. So I hold off a little bit longer. I go, maybe the rain will, will ease up a little bit. It doesn't. So I'm like, all right, well, I still have an umbrella. Let's just get to the car. Now, mind you, it is a 15-minute walk from where I clock out 
to my vehicle, mm -hmm. which is bullshit. But I won't dive into that because I employ I am employed by the company. So <laughs> um, we're walking and there are just endless puddles because fucking we live in a swamp. Yeah. And so I'm walking these puddles. So my feet start getting wet. I go, OK, well, that's not the end of the world because I'm going to go home and I'm going to change anyways. I'm going to take my socks off and put on fresh, clean socks. So I don't care if my feet get wet. Not the end of the world. But then the rain, the rain and the wind just picks up. It starts getting fucking worse. My umbrella isn't the best. And so like occasionally a couple drops will get through. So my hair starts getting wet, which is what I wanted to avoid the whole time. You have holes in your umbrella? Not holes, but there's like, it's like an umbrella that has like, like where the, the bars connect. It like, the stitching isn't like perfect there. So I guess technically, yes, it's a hole, but it's not like there's rain pouring through, which is like every so often I'll get like a drip on my head. And it's like the most Dude, annoying drip ever. Buy some new stuff. <laughs> Dude, it's an umbrella. Like, it does its job. But when mm -hmm. it rains a lot. Well, that's what it's supposed to protect from. Listen, even if even if you had the best umbrella in the world, I was getting wet in this storm. It was fucking raining sideways. Okay, well, then, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, it just I'm just soaked head to toe. And I was like, this fucking, like... I was so proud of myself because I was so dry for so long. And then the walk to the car is what got me. And I was pissed because I had to go home and I'd fucking shower, do all this, which I wasn't planning on doing. I never shower after work, which some people say oh, is like right after work or just after work in general, after work in general, I don't shower. I shower in the morning. Well, because if I shower after work, then I have to shower again in the morning anyways. Well, because you're weird. No, I'm not. And I have to do my hair fresh out of the shower. Well, you don't have to. You just I do. It's that the way. only way my hair can be done. No. It that is. is. Absolutely false. I, Dave, I'm telling you, that is the only way my hair can be done because of the because of my hair. So otherwise you're saying it just needs to be wet. Not even that, because I've done that before. If I if I just like wet it in the morning. Like, let's say I showered at night, and then the next morning I wet my hair to do my hair. It doesn't turn out the same way because it, like, it doesn't look as good. It just, like, it looks, it looks greasy afterwards. If I shower in the morning and then do my hair, my hair looks good for the rest of the day. Okay. If I don't shower in the morning and try and do my hair anyways, it doesn't look good. Whatever. Either way, what's the matter I'm with... I'm wearing a hat right now. What's the matter with two showers? A or a shower water. at night, and then okay, yeah, that's what you're worried about. I pay water bills. It is what I'm worried about. But it's just like you know, you're. I'm not saying you have like a sweaty job, but I do. See, so then I'm not getting in my bed. I'm not saying I after I like, like I just feel sticky, you know. So I have to shower. I just ignore like, that feeling. <laughs> I don't feel. St I don't sweat that much. I'm not like you. We've established that on this podcast already, but yeah. like, I don't sweat a whole lot. When I'm at work, I will sweat some, but like not enough to where I'm feeling like, ugh. Like, I, like the one day I showered three times in like 24 hours. Damn, dude. Because, well, because I um, showered the night before because I was doing something the night before. I was working. So I was sweaty. Right. And then I got up, didn't shower right away, but I showered in the middle of the day because I was going out and I smelled a little bit and I could have just put deodorant on, but I was like, you know what? I feel like, you know, want to be fresh. Right. And, and then I shower. Okay. So maybe not 24 hours, but then I showered the next morning. Mm -hmm. Um, because I was going out again. Mm. So it's like, I think it was a Thursday that I like got sweaty. Right. Then I showered midday Friday. So mm. Thursday night, like 9, 10, whatever, 9 p.m. Showered midday Friday. And then Saturday morning. So, so like you showered three times in three 32 days. 32 hours. Yeah, but yeah, it was across three days. But like, if you look at the hours, it was right. Yeah, like but I, hours, hours don't count, you know. Like, 
Okay, but if I told you that I showered at 9 p.m. on this day and then 12 p.m. the next day, you're saying I showered two times in two days? Yeah. No, because that's literally less than a whole day. Yeah, but it's two days. Yeah, whatever. But I really don't care because I'm just going to shower when I want to shower. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But you don't. Well, you shower when you want to shower, which... I do, which is in the morning. <laughs> but I am just I was just saying that I showered because I sweat and then I had to go out. And then yeah, I was see, going I like think that. that's where I'm... And some people will call it gross. I, like, if I am, like... If I'm, like, super sweaty and then I have to go somewhere, of course I'm going to shower. But if I'm, like, super sweaty and then I don't have plans for the rest of the day, I don't give a fuck. It's my own filth. I'm not... I got nobody to impress. Do you know how, how better it feel? What? <laughs> you know how much better it would feel? Yeah. But like a shower is just It is. It's like refreshing. Oh my dude, that is my safe. But you know what else is ref- <laughs> You know what else is refreshing? It's just like sitting in the AC. Yeah, you can sit in the AC after you shower. Yeah, but then I gotta like change and like do my hair again. No, you don't. If I shower, I have to do my hair. You just, you just. I can't just leave my hair. Because then it touches my forehead and I can't stand that. I'm not saying that you have to leave it to touch your forehead. Like, I, of course, comb my hair when I get out of the shower. Right, but I have a lot of hair that just flops down onto my forehead. So I have to do my hair. You, 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 you put shit in your hair. Yeah. Which is why I don't shower at night. Not because I would have to do my hair, but because I know I'm going to shower in the morning anyways to do my hair. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm not going to shower right after I get home from work because I still, I still, I still smell okay. I still look okay. I still feel okay. I take my clothes off. I put my, my, my inside clothes on. And I fucking lounge around on my futon and watch TV. I mean, I'm not saying I've never done it. <laughs> Don't fucking attack me. But, and not, and everybody, anybody who has been like, oh, that's disgusting. It's like, I mean, maybe some people do it all the time, but yes, of course. Sometimes when you just get in, some you're people just like, I know, they're like, I have to shower after work. And I'm like, no, you don't. I mean, some people shower after work who just shower after work. Yeah. Because they're just like, eh. And it's like, you were just sitting down all day. But they also That's... showered in that morning. They might have. No, no, no. I don't get that. Because, I mean, depending on who the person is, if you don't do anything at your job. You don't need to shower. Why do you have to shower? Because yeah. the people I who. Just, I shower just in say, the morning because it wakes me up. Yeah. And then I'm good. Let's just say you're, um, I'm watching, by the way, watching Suits. Yeah. Good show. Um, those people, those type of people, they shower in the morning. Yeah. And then they're good for the rest of the day because they don't do anything. Right. Now, of course, if they're, if they shower in the morning, then they obviously do something that makes them sweat like a whole bunch. Like sometimes they work out. I see that he goes to the gym sometimes. Harvey Specter. <laughs> um, He's probably going to, he's of course going to shower after that. But those are the type of people who are just like, shower in the morning, do my job, come home, dinner, glass of wine, bourbon, whatever, go to sleep, wake up, shower. Yeah. Because they don't do anything. I feel like showers were meant for the morning. They're meant to keep you clean. Yeah. That's what they're meant for. Yeah. And you clean yourself off in the morning. Because then you're bad. Because what I've realized now, recently, yeah, that's the argument, right? Everyone's like, "Oh, we didn't. Your bed's filthy." It's it's a it, it's a bed. Yeah, you're gonna do your laundry eventually, right? For so, like, why the fuck does it matter? And now, me personally, I always just sweat anyways. In, yeah, exactly. In so it's like it's either I'm doing sheets. I don't know. I just have now, like you know, probably within the last few months, been. Like, oh, man, I could take a shower right now before I go to bed. Yeah, I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. It's just, it's not, it's not my cup of tea. 
I've never been. I've never been in the evening shower. But anyways, so in Beijing, there's a there's a zoo, there's a zoo. Okay. Um, and this zoo in in China is denying suggestions that some of its bears might be people in costumes. After photos of the animals standing, oh, yeah. like humans, yeah. circulated online. Have you seen these pictures? No, I have not. Somebody, um, dude, they're, they're kind of freaky. Like, oh, have you seen the bear in China that looks uh, like a man dressed in a bear suit? Yeah. Well, they, yeah, they just said fake bear. I don't know what they were talking about. Yeah, so it's a sun bear. They're from Malaysia. They're smaller than other bears and look different, but are the real thing, is what they said on their social media account. Can um, you share your screen of these pictures? Oh, I'm going to. Don't you worry about that. Um, because yeah, I don't. Uh, Let me know when you can see it. Yes, I can see it. I right. So here's the article. Right. It said the bears are real. Employee, uh, because of the way they stand, some people online question whether they are humans in disguise. They're the size of large dogs, standing fifty inches tall on their hind legs. Right. Here's what they fucking look. What they look like standing up. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> dude, that looks like a. Uh... I mean, everything else looks like real. I mean, but the the head looks wrong. Yeah. This is something's not something's not right here. Like that. Look at that. This one. is like that. this is not okay. That looks creepy. That's just a lengthy. That 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 looks like a um. A black lab. Yeah. Mixed with like a bear. Yeah. And a human all at the same time. It's just like. The wrinkles here really bother me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, wait, hold on, go back. Click on uh the one, go down, second row, three over. Yeah, this one? click on that. No, 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 it's not three. There you go. Why is its head so oblong? Yeah. Why is it, dude? That just looks strange. It's pretty cute, like this. Dude, it looks like go go up a little bit. It like looks like it has the body of like a really like beefy pit bull. You ever seen yeah. those like muscular pit bulls? Yeah, where they're like just the stance yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he's got that body. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it, the what you call it um, from Scooby Doo? Remember that muscular Scooby Doo? Was it him? Let me look it up. You mean when Scrappy gets really jacked? Oh, Scrappy. That's what it is. Yeah, when Scrappy gets jacked. I feel like that's what his body Fair. like looks like. Not as jacked, but it just And then looks his head is just like a, a watermelon yeah, like, that somebody painted to look like a bear. Like where the brown line stop on his neck right there, it just looks like at the top where they cut off or like where they stop being brown. It's like right there, it just looks like somebody placed something else. Like his head is not on his body. It doesn't match. You're telling me that's a real animal? No, that's somebody in a costume. I mean, that those are pants. Why? <laughs> why would um? Why would they do that? Why would they put? Yeah. A, why would they put a person in a costume? Yeah. Um. Maybe they don't have the bears yet. Dude, I just stop showing that. <laughs> okay, but like, are you so sun bears are real? And you're sun saying bears, this, the picture sun bears with are the real. wrinkly, yeah, sun bears, what? The picture with the wrinkled ass is a fake one? Yeah, sun bears are definitely real. All right, like, here's a sun bear. But the whole thing is that the one that the people the are ones that are at the zoo, they are people saying, are saying they are humans in costume. And gotcha. my guess would be the reason they, if they were doing that, it would be because they don't have the bears yet, but they said they would. And so I guess the zoo wants to lie to the people. Why? why? I don't know, but. Um, yeah, this one, fat motherfucker. It still looks fake. It does. Yeah, you're right. Like you look up. Like the head is just placed on something. You look up any other bear, dude. Yeah, like a black bear. It'll look 
Okay, see, so here's a video of a sun bear. Dude, why are bears so dangerous? Ugh. Look at that. It's waving. That is a person. Why is it? What is What is it? It's got like a flat neck. That's pretty cute. See, so it's like, hold on. You'll see the beginning here in a second. It, it looks like an otter. It looks like a big otter. Yeah, it's just not right. I don't. So what are your what is your take? You think these are humans in costume or? No, because like, dude, look at this thing. You're telling me that's why not is a... his neck so fucking weird? <laughs> <laughs> this is the most normal looking picture right here. This bear looks the most normal. Dude, like, what is that neck? Ugh, look at that. <laughs> it's so bad to look at. Look at its little okay, wiener. Okay, but like, <laughs> it's, like this, where's this long, like the tongue? I don't know what the tongue is. Like, I just watched a video of the one at the zoo and like his tongue came out. So it's like, you think China's really going... No, well, maybe it's, are you sure that's the same video? Yeah, dude, this is the one with the wrinkled ass. And its tongue came out? Well, no, not this one. No, oh, now it just did. You want to you want to show it on the I mean Ugh. <laughs> That is a person <laughs> in a costume. Like dude, that guy is like it looks like he's he's standing he's like <laughs> you know and then it's just all wrinkly back yeah just straight wrinkles just really just pushing his pelvis out it's so uncomfortable to look at <laughs> oh i can't went out of oh no didn't. i think they're i think they're i think they're fake fake news news oh other chinese zoos have been accused of trying to pass off dogs dyed to look like wolves or african cats and donkeys painted to look like zebras damn what the why is it why is china out here lying at their zoos yeah, like, like just what? just get the animal if you don't have the animal nobody's gonna care i don't get it yeah, that's. I don't know. I think it's a man in a. I think it's a man in a costume based on that wrinkly ass. <laughs> that's because he didn't have the ass to fill out the costume. Basically, it's like if I got in a big bear costume, right? That's right. what the ass would look like. Because I don't have ass to fill out that back part. Now, if like Ben got in the costume, he would be like, "That's a bear." Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. But got a even bear if ass. you don't see that, it just looks like a weird bear. And what, these sun bears are just all of a sudden going into the zoo? Where did they come from? The butchers been they're, around? They're, Why are they taking yeah, them to the zoo? They're just bears. Never heard of the sun bear. Well, because like how many how many bears outside of America do you really know about? Besides polar bear. Polar bear, panda bear. Yeah. Forget about pandas, yeah. Red panda. Are they bears? Are koalas bears? Koalas are not bears. They're marsupials. Yeah, well, it's a koala bear, though. <laughs> That's what I call it, too. <laughs> well, it's a koala, but... Yeah, but koala bear. I don't say koala bear, actually. They look like bears. They got the ears like bears. So. Again, why are bears so dangerous? Why are they... Why are they so cute, but so deadly? That's like every animal ever. No. You think mountain lions are cute? Dude, big cats? Way better than fucking these household ones. They're not cute, though. No, yeah, they are. Dude, you ever see a lion? There's yeah. like pictures of lions like in the like in the wild. Not lions in zoos that are like, you know, they're they're like upkept and they look good. Oh, the ones with all just like these just 
lions in the wild want just blood dripping from their face all the time. They don't have full manes that often. They like they have like fucking mohawks half the time, and they're really scraggly. <laughs> yeah, I guess I shouldn't say cute. They're just cool looking. Yeah, they're fucking awesome. But like bears, I mean, are tigers are cute. Cute. They're fuzzy. They got little tiny ears, and they got you know snouts like a dog. I don't know, man. Why don't you go talk to one? I just don't get like, and they just eat fish, right? Until they maul somebody. Yeah, I think they eat more than fish. Cute bears. And panda bears really shouldn't be in the bear category. Well, because they're just fucking stupid. It's a miracle I, they haven't gone extinct. Yeah, I hear that they're just dumb. Like, come on. We do, we do bear. Exactly, dude. Like, it's it just looks like a really big dog. Like, it yeah, looks exactly. like that's so why like, I call that's Sierra. my point, right? Like, how are you gonna make something this fucking cute and then make it deadly? That's why I call Sierra Sierra Bear. How cause... have we not? How have we not domesticated bears? Like about wolves. Look at that. That's a fucking. That's a little just a. It's a teddy bear right there, bro. Yeah. My what about wolves? Big we did your... domesticate wolves. Oh. That's why we got fucking dogs, dude. Yeah, but a wolf is different than a dog. And you can't actually have a wolf in other states. Oh, look at that. Dude, man, you're just falling asleep on a tree. Dude, so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Good thing they're fat so their blubber can fucking... Yeah, these motherfuckers, though? Deadly. Most, most vicious bear ever. Yeah, this shit will fuck you up. I don't know why. Probably because I they're... wonder. You say they're white? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. I was gonna say, who do you think would win? A, a grizzly bear? Um. Or a pan- or a, a a polar bear? Polar bear, hundred percent. Polar bears are bigger. Are they? Pretty sure. Let me look it up. That's... Polar bear versus grizzly bear. Who would win in a fight? Here we go. God, the internet's such a great place. Sometimes. Grizzly yeah. bears don't actually eat much meat. Only 10% of their diet is protein, while the rest is berries and plants. See, grizzly bears are like super chill. I could just, you could just have a grizzly bear. A polar bear I mean, eats almost all bear. meat. That's why they're the most vicious. Because yeah, fucking- polar bears are much larger than grizzly bears. Most polar bear, male polar polar bears weigh an average of seven hundred seventy to fifteen hundred pounds. The largest subspecies of brown bear, the Kodiak bear, is an average weight of six hundred sixty to thirteen twenty. So polar bears are just bigger. Yeah. So a study conducted a in twenty fifteen found the grizzly bears were dominant when competing with larger polar bears for a beached whale carp. Oh. So when it comes to whale carcasses, grizzly bears win the fight. You know, against polar bears. They like their whales. They like their whales, I guess. Yeah. And do look at this brown black bears. Sixty to seventy-two inches in length. So, oh. like, for a black bear, black bear, okay, look just like you know, average human. Yeah, but. We don't measure ourselves in length. No, I know. But like I'm just saying, it's not like it's a huge ass bear. Yeah, it's not a big bear. What about polar bears, though? I don't fucking know. Polar bears are massive, dude. Uh, Up to 11. Dude, what? What? 11 feet? 12 feet long? Dude. Largest of all bears up to 3.5 meters to 3.7 meters. So 11.6 11, to 12.2. 1700 to 2200 pounds. That's a big fucking bear. Yeah, bro. Look at that, the sun bear. Sun bear's got to be like, I mean, we just saw they're like the size of a large dog. Just so what kind of large dog are we talking about, though? Is it like a, like a, like a Great Dane dog or like just like a large regular dog, German Shepherd? Right. I don't know. 
I'm not looking at that sun bear anymore. And creepy. Yeah, it's it's gonna give me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Oh, speaking of nightmares, dude, I had a dream one time when I was uh when I was younger. I was like in high school. I had a dream one time that um it was like right after a breakup. I won't say with who, <laughs> but <laughs> there was after a breakup. I had a dream. And, you know, I was like super depressed. I was like, damn, you know, loved her. And then it was over. But I had yeah. a dream that she was a lesbian. Nice. <laughs> and I woke up with the sweats. Because I was so because devastated. Because she was a lesbian. You're afraid of lesbians? <laughs> <laughs> no. But I was like. Explain yourself, please. I'm trying to. <laughs> I mean, like. I was upset because that meant I had no chance. Okay. So like my my dream brain was like, it's not that she doesn't want you, it's that she doesn't want yeah. any men. And I was like, right. fuck. Yeah. So you I was I was <laughs> I just <laughs> hate lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I think about that dream like 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 once a month. Hi. <laughs> I don't know. It just like pops into my head. I'm like, damn, remember that time that I had a dream that my ex-girlfriend was a lesbian? And it like really upset me. At the time? At the time. Or, yeah, no, or, not anymore. Because you you accept lesbians now. I okay. Not now. <laughs> always. I've always accepted lesbians. lesbians. I just didn't want my girlfriend to be a lesbian. Right. Because like, then then it just wouldn't work out, you know? Yeah. I'm 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 packing the wrong material for that. Unless she was bi. That's fine. But in the dream, she was a lesbian. I feel like a, a lot of girls, you know. Are lesbians. They could be bi. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's because everybody loves girls. Yeah. Girls everybody love girls. Loves tits. Guys love girls. I know that girls aren't just tits, but like... <laughs> Everybody loves boobs. One loves. Never mind. Even <laughs> even even gay dudes love boobs. Do they? Sure, they do. Maybe not love, but you can appreciate a nice pair of boobs. Cool. Now that we're done objectifying <laughs> women, <laughs> I was like, uh... <laughs> I don't really know how to how to pedal our way out of this one so um we'll switch topic to my hike oh yeah yeah yeah. you went on another hike how many mountains one or two one. two 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 sorry two, two peaks two again. mountains yes. two peaks um which brings you to how many now four um i was gonna go on one a few weeks ago but i couldn't go so that would have been six or five or five there was only one mountain then but right Anyways, tell us about it. New boots. See how are the how did the, how are the new boots? They're all right. I wore them. I wasn't sure if I was going to wear them, so I made a decision as we got to the you know the trail, and right. I was like, I, I, I'm go. I'm going to go with them. I'm going to go yeah. with them. No go. No going back now. Yeah. Um, and they were pretty good. I they were rubbing on my heel, the one the right boot, and I was like, fuck. I'm going to have a fucking blister. Yeah, dude. Um, that reminds me. I'll, I'll tell you after a good story. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and then as we were walking to, it kept pinching like this part of the, like right here. Yeah. The it kept pinching that. And I was like, maybe my, my sock is just bunched up, but it was, it wasn't the greatest feeling after a while. It kind of went away. Mm -hmm. Um, but five minutes into this thing and it was a hot day. Yeah. Um, I was exhausted i was like dude what is happening like why are we why are we so why are we just so dead right now it's like we're five ten minutes in and then and then obviously you know once our body was like oh you know we know oh we're, we're doing exercise <laughs> yeah like okay but it was a tough it was a brutal hike really the other one that we did like yeah it was long it was like 13 hours this one was only seven mm-hmm but I'm telling you, the I seven for both peaks. Yeah. Wow. Um. This the seven hour one was it kicked my ass. Was it more steep? Yeah. It was like 
So you, we, we went up like three miles. Then we decided to go, um, instead of doing the peak that was like right there, that was a shorter distance, we did the, we did the longer one. So we're like, okay, we'll do the longer one. So then on the way back down, we just do a little short one, then we're done. Or then we got to obviously go back down three miles. So it was like up three miles, then a mile, 1.2 miles to the next one. And then we had to do 1.2 miles back. And then the next peak was only 0.1 miles away. I didn't know that. I thought it was half a mile away. And then we were like going and it came up to this opening. I was like, oh man, could, could you imagine this was it? And we looked at each other like, I is think this, this is it. It, <laughs> it literally took us like two minutes to get up there. Yeah. And we're like, oh, I go, thank God, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, this is, this isn't real. Um, but for the second one, or sorry, for the first peak, you had to go up the mountain, right? Three miles. As one does, yeah. And then you had to go down 600 feet and then go back up 600 feet. That seems counterproductive. Well, why not just keep going up? Well, because you got to get to the peak. Yeah, but just, just go up. Well, the only way to get to it is to go down because it's a different peak. It's not like it's right there. Mm. So we're like, cause like I said, the other one, so basically we were at the top of the other one. I didn't know it was point. I still thought it was higher, but like the junction, it was like, here's a junction. You can either go this way to the one peak or this way to the other one. And the, the one we went to we had to go back down and then go back up. Right. Um, and there's another way to go up it, but it's like this one, a lot of people do because you can do both at once you know they're both like right there yeah um obviously like you know there's different trails that lead different there's another trail that you could have just done the one but it was like go all the way around you know what i think would be cool to like do like all of them yeah and you just like bring like oh because are they like along any of these trails are they like like but you can camp yeah yeah uh, well, like no, any, not like, along the trail. There, there's no. I don't know if it was anything like like Cadillac. If you could like you get to a peak and there's something something waiting for you. <laughs> no, uh, there's one for um, I, I think Whiteface is a mountain there. I think you can drive up there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think you can drive up to that one because uh, like Whiteface is like a a ski of like. People snowboard and all that yeah, yeah, shit. Because yeah. I was gonna say, like, um, if you could do like a long trip, right, like where you get all of them done within a month or something like that, and you just camp along the way, and you bring your own food. Yeah, no, there's really nothing. I mean, there's spots where like you can camp. Um, like we started the, the the hike, and I don't know, like ten minutes in or something, or I don't know how long in, whatever. Um, at one point we did see a tent, but then at, at another point, it's like, you can't, um, once you get high enough, you can't like, you can't camp anymore. Yeah. So I don't know if you're allowed to like, if you, as long as you're below there and you find a good spot, you can set up camp wherever. Hmm. Um, but no, there's not like, like shit everywhere where you can just stay. I mean, obviously if you just stay in that region for like a month and just kind of, you know, there's a lodge at one place um, at the bottom of, a, you know, some mountains. I don't know everything about it, but yeah, I just know there's an Adirondack Lodge that you can stay right. in. So. Pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, Do you ever do, have, do, have we talked about Mount Everest on the podcast yet? Um, No. I, I would not so. do that. You wouldn't do it? Fuck that, dude. $50,000? No. 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 And the chance of death, yeah. Oh yeah. Basically. Um, I was I, the reason I asked is because I I know that like around the same time that you and I were talking about, uh, I don't remember exactly what we were talking about, but I was watching videos on TikTok about like all the dead bodies on Everest. Because mm. if you die on Mount Everest, yeah, chances just, are you're yeah. just getting left up there. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Your body's preserved for like ever. That means people just like walk by and they just see your body, like, oh man. Yeah, there's like this one person named their, their name. They don't know who it actually is. They have speculation, but they don't know who it actually is. They just call him Green Boots because he died wearing green boots. 
Yeah. Uh, um, dude's like perfectly preserved. Dude, imagine like seventy years of like unfreezes, and they're awake because global warming. Sure. Yeah, that'd be creepy. They just wake up. Green boots, you've been you've been asleep for seventy years. Okay. <laughs> It's Captain America all over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. That's like, I just don't get, there's a whole area of Mount Everest, like on the, on the, on the trek up there called the death zone. And it's like, why would you ever do yeah. something like that? No. It was, it's, don't you have to do like training too before that? Oh yeah. Like, you gotta like, you gotta work your ass off because you like, just have oxygen. no oxygen up that high. Yeah. So like you're you're like. hiking with you know fifty pounds of bullshit on you, and one of those things is an oxygen tank, just so you can fucking breathe. And if you expose your skin to the elements for more than like thirty seconds, you got frostbite. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. And you can okay. only stay in the death zone for like a few hours, otherwise you're dead. And so if so, you get turned around, you're like, oh, where the fuck am I? Yeah. Oh. Well, That's why it costs it. so much money because you're paying these sherpas, fucking. To bring your dumb ass up this mountain. Yeah. And back down. Any any hiking trail that you have to you have to walk across ladders that were laid across chasms, don't do it. I wonder how often they check that shit. I don't know, but pr- not often enough, in my opinion. Well, you don't know how strong they are. I don't need to know. I just know that you're dumb for doing that. There's two points we should never go on the earth, and that's the highest point and the lowest point. Is that the highest point? Mount Everest, yeah. I thought, oh no, Mount Kilimanjaro is like the second highest. I don't know, but Everest is the highest. Mariana Trench, that's the lowest, right? That's the lowest, yeah. Yeah, don't go there. Fuck that. Don't go to the top of the mountain. Don't go to the top, top of the mountains. mountains. Two places where there's no oxygen. And you will die. And you, you will die. die. <laughs> well, you, you will die at Mariana Trench. You could die. On the way to well, on the on the Everest. way to, to the peak of Everest. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Fuck that. I went into like a deep dive too of these of these dead bodies, and it was like the wild. There's like I think there there's like I saw a video of like a guy gets to the top of Mount Everest, gets to the peak, and he's like recording on like a 360 cam. Mm-hmm. So he's just like kind of moving it around, and I'm pretty sure he just like sits down right next to a frozen body. Like, what the fuck? That'd yeah, be like ah. You know, Yourself, good, on, dude. good on you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> what did you Can turn you... Australian? Yeah. You know, <laughs> I feel like Australians probably like that shit, no problem. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that Australians handle the cold very well. They can handle anything. True, they're Australian. Yeah. They just Crazy. say crikey and they just say crikey. And they move on with their life. <laughs> yeah. That's how they get through the that's how they get through everything. They just say, crikey, it's cold. Keep it moving. And they're good. Crikey, that's a big spider. Kill it. Keep moving. I think they run from those. I don't know what they do. Those spiders are fucking bird-eating spiders. Yeah, once again. No, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Another place. Well, no, not that you should go to Australia. I want to go to Australia, but I don't want to go to the place where there's the, the animals that want to kill you. I think that's like everywhere. Nah, you can go to like the cities and you're fine. Yeah, well, most likely. So I guess I'll just stay in it. That's all I would go to, anyways. That's not going to be like, yeah. oh, yeah, let's to, hike the desert. So you're going to go to Sydney. You're not going to go to fucking the Outback. Yeah. Go to Sydney, see what's up. Yeah. Visit the Opera House. No. What? I'm not going to the Opera. Not the Opera. They have like shit, the Opera House. It's like concerts. Oh, oh, oh okay. I see what you mean. That's where their performers are. Yeah. Performances are, I mean. Yeah. Like when the when the Jonas Brothers go to Australia, they go to the Sydney Opera House. Gosh. I assume. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, th- I thought you were just saying, oh, go to the opera. I was like, I know I know two things about, about Australia, and that's the Irwins and Sydney. And whatchamacallit? What's his nuts? Thor. 
Yeah. What's his name? The Hemsworths. The Hemsworths. Yep. Who's that? Yeah. Finding Couple Nemo. That I watch. Finding Nemo. Yeah. Something Wallaby Lane. Wallaby something. Yeah. Thirty two. I don't know. I don't know. Hot take. I don't really like Finding Nemo that much. Nemo's kind of a little bitch. What do you not like Finding Nemo? I don't know. It's just kind of stupid. At least he's clean. In the water. <laughs> he showers. <laughs> no, Nemo's just like a little fucking pussy. What are you talking about? Like, just just listen to your dad. Nemo. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then so he gets caught the and he's like, I gotta get back to my dad. Like, maybe if you listen to dad in your first place, you wouldn't be in this fucking aquarium right now with fucking Sally Buckteeth over here. Dude. So do you not you just don't like Nemo in general, but you like the movie. The movie's fine. Nemo's a stupid Nemo. Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That sure. stupid fucking fish with his stupid fin. I almost said I almost said some no, it's good to this bad trivia. things. I just don't like him, you know. It's crazy. So I'm not gonna lie, that he's just, you know, he's just a little guy. He's kind of annoying. Uh, pick a number. He's like that kid that nobody likes. Uh, 20, 32. 32. Six, nine. How tall am I in centimeters? 32. 36, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 29. 29? Oh, what were Jelly Babies renamed to in 1918 to mark the end of World War One? The fuck are Jelly Babies? My guess is Jelly Beans. Oh, that make I was gonna. Say, I, I mean, I was gonna read Jelly Beans, and I realized it was babies. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I would have to say that answer too. <laughs> yeah. Peace Babies. Ooh, I don't know what the so fuck. We're not that talking means. about Jelly Beans then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All um, right. Discuss a state. Legalize same sex marriage. First one. Um Joe probably hates that state. Okay. <laughs> Don't <laughs> fucking say that shit. It's gonna get uh, me canceled. What US state was first to legalize same sex marriage? I'm locked in. Uh oh, California. That's what I said too. Fuck, oh. dude. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I Massachusetts hated the gays. Um, oh no wait they're from New England they don't hate the gays there what who was America's first billionaire Um, what's his name who knows that I know it I know it but I don't I don't know it Uh, it's his what's his name Buffett Warren Buffett yeah Warren Buffett isn't that what I don't know I don't know what I'm thinking (laughs) I'm going to click it. Go ahead. Ah. John D. Oh, the Rockefellers. That's right. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh. Uh, hey, what the fuck? First winner of American Idol. Kelly, yeah, thanks. Uh. Oh, Greek mythology? Which character had Greek mythology had a oh, which character in Greek mythology had many heads? That's that uh Cam K- K- Chimera? Chimera is like no, that's the thing that's got like the head of a lion oh the dragon and a snake or some bullshit. Oh. You're thinking of the uh the the Hydra. The Hydra? Yeah. Is that, is that, that's what I'm thinking of? I think so. So that's my answer then? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that should be your, if you said Chimera, then you're thinking Chimera. Hydra, I'm pretty sure is the one though. Okay. Well, we're going Hydra. Then. Well, I'll just, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Hydra. Lernian. I don't know what that is. Fucking pick a different one. Jesus Christ. In Greek mythology, sirens were represented as a combination of women and what animal? Fish. Dolphins, whales, sharks, dolphins. Dude, pick one. <laughs> fish. The fish is my answer. 
Okay, but a, a dolphin is not a fish. But that's okay. I was thinking sea, it's a sea animal because sirens are mermaids, dude. Okay, well, which one is it? Is it a fish? Fish. Okay. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to go dolphin. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> fucking bird. <laughs> what? God damn it. What the fuck? When did the Black Death reach London? 1612. Uh, Is that too early? That seems too early. 1582. Damn it. Oh. That's you. I'm you want a, that do one. you want a different one? Because that was we were both so far away. No, I do not. Okay. I got shit to do. That's fine. It's a new... It's a new uh, yeah, true. Yeah. Did you win last zero. week? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... Underscore David Sharky underscore is my Instagram. Um, Twitter, DShark101. Eat of the week. I had Cajun Honey Butter Barbecue chicken wings at Barbell along with their waffle fries. Delicious. Oh, no, fuck it. Scratch that. I had a brisket sandwich at this place called Greek Peak in uh, like Portland. Peak or like Portland, New York. Peak. Yeah, Peak. Peak. Uh Cortland, New York. Uh on yeah, last last Thursday. So that's right horrible. after the pod. Oh yeah. Wow. Um sounds good. Brisket sandwich. Delicious. Nice. You can follow me on my photography Instagram, Sharky underscore photography. My regular Instagram is secret agent sharky and my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Joe Sharky7. Um my eat of the week. I had an Italian, a spicy Italian sub from Subway the other day at work. Oh, Ooh, boy! And I topped it off with oil, vinegar, a little bit of oregano. Chef's kiss, delicious. Um, as for the podcast, you can follow us on Twitter at CSG Pod. That is CSG P O D. Follow us on TikTok uh, at the Shuffle Podcast, where we post our clips from the podcast. And subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all at The Shuffle Podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing and following along and everything. We'll talk to you guys next week. Goodbye, everybody. Peace and love. <laughs> <laughs>